It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew York Craft Brewery and it's a can of their Up In Smoke. This is a maple and mosquito barbecue porter coming in at 5.1% ABV. There's a look at the can, 440 milliliter burgers and hot dogs and all sorts, steak all over this can, fire, tongs, barbecues. Oh, I love that. I, I like this can, really cool. 5.1% ABV. Without further ado, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh. Nice little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Look at that. We got a one to two finger tan colored head. Jet black beer in the glass. Good levels of carbonation. Looks really good. No light bleeding through into that beer whatsoever. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to a local lad, Daniel Bale, who was kind enough to hook me up with this beer. Thank you very much, Daniel. Really appreciate it. Good levels of carbonation. Nice looking porter. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a chocolate porter, to be honest. A little bit smoky, caramel. Oh, it's it's exciting, exciting. Chocolatey caramel. Oh yeah. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, peat, peat, and more peat. Uh, I don't mean peat as in peat the name. I mean peat as in, oh, a little bit of peated malt in there. Pretty sure of it. Ooh, touch of kind of, maybe a touch of whiskey as well. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, bitterness coming from the roasted malt. Oh, that's like, um, actually licking the inside of a cold barbecue, the cold coals, after you've used the barbecue. Maybe try it the next morning after you've left it. I, I normally kind of have a bit of a drink and I leave the barbecue coals going all night and you generally find it, it might be a little bit warm in the morning, but if they're cold enough, yeah, it's like licking a cold barbecue coal. Cool. That is quite, that is quite smoky, quite smoky, but very nice. It's very refreshing. It's not overly done, it's not too sticky. Being a porter, pardon me, being a porter style beer, they say, don't they, I mean, we're porters and stouts, they say stouts are a little bit more bold and fat, but really it's just the name. The name porter, the name stout, um, the London porters were just the, the London blokes who just used to run around the streets with the little hand sacks that they used to run around with. And then the, the, the stout was the, the Irish equivalent of a, of a dark beer. It was, it was brewed originally for its kind of nutrition, its nutritional values. And back in the day, 1700s, 1800s, most, most beer styles in the UK, especially in London, were, were porter beers. Uh, it's a very small market share these days, um, but it's making a massive recovery. Will this beer do much to dent the porter market, to, to improve the porter market? I don't know. It's a little bit smoky. But I like the sweetness, I like the caramel, I like the little touch of... Maybe a touch of cocoa or cacao nibs or something in there. And then it rolls over into a big smoky bomb at the end. It's a funny one. 
And I always refer back to going to Poland in, I think it was the year 2017. And I went to the Wrocław Beer Festival and everybody there were brewing these smoke beers. It was the year of the smoke beer in Poland. And I wasn't a fan, I will be honest with you, because they were producing like lagers, smoked lagers and smoked porters and smoked IPAs and smoked pale ales and everything seemed to be smoked and I was like, I don't want all this smoked beer, <laughs> I want to try something else. But it was just, it was just the, the, the Polish market, it was just the way they were kind of developing their beer culture and, 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 and experimenting with different styles. Thankfully, thankfully it didn't last. Thankfully when I went back in 2018, or 2019, whether it was 2017 or 2018 they brought out the smoked beer. Anyway, the year after, all the smoky beers were gone. So they couldn't have been that popular. A lot of people must have been like me. Like, I've had enough of all these smoky beers. So, for me personally, I'm not the greatest fan of smoked beers. I can appreciate them. I can appreciate that people will like them. Um, I like the, the, the caramel, the cacao nib, the chocolate the sweetness um it's not saying that it's not overly smoked it's not like a big massive kind of like someone out there in my garden you know like like smoking the fire putting a, a rag a rag over it you know sending smoke circles into the sky it's not that bad but you have to be a fan you have to be a fan of of some kind of smoked beer. If you've picked this up from Brew York's website and you've thought, I'm just going to give this a go, this barbecue porter, then you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I don't think there's anywhere down the middle. You're either going to go, that's nice, I'm going to finish it, it's very nice, I understand the kind of smokiness, or you're going to have one taste and go, ooh, I really don't like that and probably either give it to your wife or your boyfriend or whatever and then, and then if he don't like it or she don't like it, chuck it on the sink. <sighs> yeah, they got that on the, on the flavour wheel on, on the back here, you can see it's all pointing towards malt. <clears throat> what do Brew York say about this beer? A ma maple and mosquit? Is that mosquit? Mosquit? I don't know, I can't even pronounce that word. Barbecue Porter. Right. Brewed with our Smokehouse Kitchen Partners, Blues Smoked Meats, to complement their fantastic array of barbecue treats. Up in Smoke is a Smoked Barbecue Porter, large with the flavours of the US barbecue. Maple and Musquette smoke, Wood Smoke. It's also a cheeky nod to a classic film that will have you chonking, chonging back a few cans next time you barbecue this summer. What's the reference then? Up in, oh yes! Cheech and Chong. I know. Cheech and Chong up in smoke. I missed it. I missed it. I just read Brew York up in smoke. Cheech and Chong up in smoke. Remember that film? God, that was an early, that was like in the 80s, wasn't it? Cheech and Chong. Blew my neck. <laughs> so Brew York have got a lot of kind of film orientated, TV orientated beers now. The, the, the Juice Willis, the Juice Forsyth. Um, what, what's the other ones they got? I'm trying to think now. What was the one I had recently? I had one the other day. Pale Ale. Oh, never mind. Anyway, they're all kind of like film related or TV personality related. They should do a Dolly Parton one. Yeah, make a big milky mess. <laughs> right, rating. Looks good, smells good. I like the chocolate. I do like the chocolate in the aroma. I do like that touch of smoke and it tastes okay. It's not, it's not overly done with the smoke, but it's definitely there. It's probably a bit of a Marmite beer for everybody. A love it or hate it beer. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. 
Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!